While everyone is stuck in the traffic of big cities, a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, Xpeng Motors, is set to revolutionize urban mobility by releasing the world's first flying car at Dubai. The EVTOL electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, Xpeng X2, made its first successful public test at Skydive Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. With the successful test flight, the company just gave us a glimpse into the brand new thrilling era of short-haul trips and intelligent mobility solutions, so we can expect not only autonomous flying taxis to be available very soon, but also revolutionary real flying cars. As the company announced that, they're also working on that one too. During the demonstration flight, the Xpeng X2 received appraisal from the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority. It wasn't a very complicated flight. However, as the video shows the flying car taking off vertically and hovering tens of feet above the ground in similar fashion to a drone. With this flying taxi, Xpeng intends to relieve city traffic and improve urban air mobility systems. The man-sized two-seater adopts a minimalistic teardrop-shaped design with an enclosed cockpit for efficient aerodynamic features and to achieve ultimate in-flight performance. Along with a complete body made of premium carbon fiber to reduce weight, it has a maximum takeoff weight of 760 kilograms and an empty weight of only 560 kilograms. The intelligent electric flying car is powered by eight motors and eight propellers and can reach a maximum speed of 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour for a 35 minute maximum flight time. Well, if someone flies 36 minutes instead and the batteries run out of juice, don't worry because the flying taxi is also fitted with an airframe parachute to grant security. The displayed Xpeng X2 is the fifth generation vertical takeoff and landing vehicle with an autonomous flight capability. But for those more adventurous, a manual mode will be available in future models too. And to avoid collisions in manual mode, it has green lights on the right side and red lights on the left side to make the flight direction visible from a distance. With its enhanced intelligent flight control system, it offers passengers a safe and intelligent flying experience with simple start, return, and landing operations at the touch of a button on the touchscreen display inside. It's best suitable for low-altitude intercity or intracity flights, and a fleet of those autonomous drone taxis could relieve city traffic of metropolitan areas massively without any carbon pollution. According to Omar Abdulaziz Al Khan, the executive director for international offices at the Dubai Chamber of Commerce and Industry, flying cars will be available for commercial use in Dubai in two to three years. He said, It depends on how fast we can adapt the framework of commercialized urban flying. There will be more tests happening in Dubai, and then it will be commercialized. The footage has shown us that it's fifth generation vertical takeoff and landing vehicle without wheels during the test flight. So it actually can't be called a flying car, rather a, a man-sized flying drone. But the company also has announced an advancement update for its sixth generation flying car, which is a real driving car with wheels and a foldable rotor mechanism that allows it to switch between flying and driving mode per the push of a button. The sixth generation flying car is expected to come out in 2024, and this is what it should look like in the future. The Xpeng X3 will become a real flying car. Aero HT even made its first successful test flights of the prototype just one week after the public test flight of the X2, so the development of flying cars is increasingly gaining traction. Brian Gu, vice chairman and president of Xpeng Motors, points out, Xpeng X2's public display in Dubai represents a significant milestone for Xpeng Aero HT and the international achievement of flying cars. Dubai is a world-renowned city of innovation which is the reason we've decided to hold the X2 first public flight event here. Today's flight is a major step in Xpeng's exploration of future mobility. Aero HT, a majority-owned entity of Xpeng Motors, has conducted over 15,000 test flights safely with the ultimate goal of making the dream of flying cars finally happen. The event marked the X2's first public display, with over 150 people witnessing the demonstration flight, which took place on the opening day of the GITEX Global 2022, one of the world's largest tech shows at the Dubai World Trade Center. It was supported by the Dubai International Chamber of Commerce, which was deeply involved in the entire process consulting to Xpeng Aero HT. The company Xpeng Motors, which has major experience in the EV industry with various successful electric vehicle models such as the P7 or the G9, has now good conditions to becoming a leading flying car manufacturer of the future.
together with the support of Dubai. There's no word on the pricing or availability of the car right now, which is understandable given its early stages of development. However, at the company's 1024 Tech Day last fall, we learned that its sixth generation flying car will be ready sometime in 2024. And it could actually cost below $156,000. As we've already shown, this newer gen model will be able to drive on the road as well. For the X2, it's expected to go into serial production in 2024 with an expected price range of $126,000 to $236,000. The X2 is, of course, not the world's first flying vehicle, but the first who made a successful public test flight with passengers on board. And with rising public interest, it's expected that this technology will also develop further and finally find its transition into our everyday lives. In the Saudi megaproject NEOM The Line, which recently made some headlines, there will be no cars allowed, but air taxis like the X2 will be common in the futuristic cities. This will lead to many new competitors in the market with new concepts and ideas, so suffice it to say the future is going to be interesting. I really hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and make sure to ring the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on the world's fast technological development.